Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali and welcome to my channel if you guys are new. It is Friday and it is almost 10 a.m. I think. Yeah, almost 10. I'm currently getting ready. I'm about to blow dry my hair. Um, and this is kind of like what my hair looks like when it's natural. It's like very like weird. It's like straight, wavy. It's just, I don't even know what's going on. It used to be like a lot more wavy when I was growing up, but it's sad, it like straightened out a lot. This is also an update on my balayage. It actually lightened up quite a bit, which like I, I like, but then I'm also like, damn, is this too light? Cause like, obviously I went from having black hair. Um, so I don't know, I think I need to get the blue shampoo and start using that. I don't really know much about like the hair stuff, but he did tell me to get a blue shampoo and I haven't done that yet, so I need to do that this weekend. Today I'm going to vlog my whole day, but I wanted to give you guys an update on my white couch because that video got a lot of views and a lot of questions and also like kind of a lot of hate for having a white couch. Like I'm 23, I don't have kids. The only person that would spill on the couch would be like me or my boyfriend and like we honestly really haven't spilled that often or like I mean, maybe like we dropped food, but it's not like spilling liquids on the couch. This is our couch. This is our Wayfair couch. Um, it is a sectional. Um, unfortunately, I cannot link it for you guys because it is not on the site anymore. Super awesome. Actually not. I'm actually really sad about it because I made a whole video on this couch and I linked it and literally I get comments every day like, can you link it? And like in the description, I literally say like, there's no link for it anymore. So you can kind of see where we usually sit. Um, this is my part of the couch. I usually sit here. I feel like we just need to fill it with like more stuffing. I don't really know. Even these pillows just like, I feel like they could have done better with these pillows. Um, and I don't know. I just feel like it definitely looks worn in. Um, but we haven't really gotten it like dirty, dirty. The only thing that I hate that happened to this couch is this. It's like very pilly. Do you see that? I don't know, it's just like, obviously it's from like the materials of our clothes rubbing up against this material of the couch. So like, it's kind of like blue cause we have like blue jeans and like leggings, black leggings. Um, so it's all over the couch. And just to kind of give you a comparison, this is like what the couch looks like and this is what it probably should look like because this is just like a pillow so we don't really use it that much so it definitely pilled really bad um and also there is like a couple of like random water stains but like it's not like we ever really spilled water i'm i'm still trying to figure out what created that um and i think there's like one other but i don't I'm not sure where it is oh it might be that stain right there i just put on a red lip so don't mind that but um, this couch, like, do I regret getting a white couch? Absolutely not, because it's literally been my dream to get a freaking white couch, um, and it looks so good with the place, because everything's, like, you know, just kind of, like, monochromatic, um, but I kind of feel like now there are so many other options I could have chose. Um, I will be linking some similar sectionals in this video so you guys can check them out after this couch got discontinued i just kind of like wanted to search the web and i found like these ones from living spaces and they were actually cheaper than this one which sucks because they look even just like whiter which honestly i feel like this probably came in like a little bit of a whiter color but i think i chose like um a little bit of an uh off-white just so it could get a little bit dirty, but I will be linking the living spaces um, sectionals down below and anything else that I can find that's similar to this one. Especially if you don't have kids or like anyone really messing up your shit. Um, like I said, I have a dog, but she doesn't really like pee on the couch or anything. I personally think a white couch is beautiful. Like I've said, I have been wanting a white couch for so long. Like this is like one of the biggest purchases um, I made when moving into here because I just had my heart set on having a white sexual. Um, so please let me know if you guys have any um, suggestions for like the pilliness. I don't know where I put it, but we bought like a, oh, here we go, okay. We got this device. I got it on Amazon and it is like a, you can see that there's like a 
some of this pill shit in there but it's like a pill razor um so we tried doing this we actually tried using like ryan's like regular like shave razor um both of them like they obviously it works but it doesn't work like amazingly and it definitely takes like a lot of effort and like you have to like really push hard if you want to get anything like i don't know i feel like this just doesn't work or like maybe i just got a cheap one because i think i did if you guys know of any pill cutters that work really really well please please send me a link because i am struggling over here i was also thinking of just taking it to the dry cleaners and seeing what they could do but then i'm also worried about like the bottom half of the couch looking so much whiter than like the normal part of the couch so i don't know really what to do my battery just died luckily i had an extra spare but like i was saying please leave any recommendations on what i should do f about my couch um i'm really just worried about the pills i feel like that makes it look 10 times worse than just like the stains because you can't really see the stains all that well um so yeah if you guys have any recommendations on how to get rid of pills off your couch please comment down below or you can DM me on Instagram. We can have a full on couch combo if you want. My arm was starting to hurt so I had to put you guys down but I am gonna go to Precision Camera at 1130 because I'm picking up my lens and this is not a new lens actually. Unfortunately, my like most expensive, newest lens literally like broke pretty much. So basically, I always buy my camera equipment used on eBay, which, you know, some may say is stupid. In this case, it was so freaking stupid. Um, this lens originally cost, I think I want to say like 2500 or somewhere in that range. And I think that I saw it on um, eBay for 2000 or like 199 or somewhere in that range. So obviously, I was like, ooh, $500 less is like better than paying full price. Um, and so I got the lens. It worked for like a good, I want to say month or so. Um, and then I started having issues with it. Like it pretty much like wouldn't connect with the body. Like it would like lock in, you could hear it, but the body would say like, like lens not found pretty much like it would give an error. So I took it to precision camera after that happened. Cause I was so worried about it. I wanted to get it fixed right when that happened. Um, but they didn't really see the issue cause it like fixed itself, I guess. Um, so I was like, okay, like hopefully it's good to go. Like hopefully that was just like some random like thing that happened. Um, but then I was like shooting this event and I was like so excited with like the images I was getting from the lens. I was like, oh my God, these are amazing. Like I'm so pumped to give these to them. And of course, like I was zooming on the lens and the zoom locked up and like I've never had that happen. And I was really praying that I just like hit a button that I didn't know about that like locks the zoom. But unfortunately, it was having that like error that it wouldn't show up that it was like connected on the body of the camera. So I took it into precision camera like literally the next morning. And of course, they were like, well, it looks like you dropped it. Like blah, blah, blah. They were being like, of course, like kind of me because obviously they just want to like get the most money out of you and i'm just like i literally didn't drop it like it's new and like uh it just sucked and also i was without this lens for a good four weeks ish and i had like shoots while i was without this lens and this is like one of my best lenses so i was just really sad about the whole thing obviously this is an investment into my business like that is one of my best lenses and i wasn't just gonna not pay for it um so i kind of had to i really didn't have any other choice um but it just really sucks that i had to repair it right after i like just got it like nearly the summer um off of ebay and i i can't really contact the seller because like the thing has been taken off like i don't really know how to go about doing all that and like i really don't think they would do anything because like they would probably just be like well you ruined it or like you dropped it and i'm like you probably sold it to me like dropped and fucked up but anyways i'm trying to get over it money will come and money will go and i'm just like there are more important things to think about in the world um so i'm just really happy that i'm going to pick up this lens and it's going to be hopefully like brand new um because i actually have my first solo wedding on the 22nd of february so i was really really nervous because they told me like four to five weeks and it was like right up against the wedding date i was like oh my god if i don't have this lens and i have to like rent the lens <laughs> I would be so mad um so yeah thank god for that and i actually have a really exciting shoot on sunday morning with like a sorority council at laguna gloria and if you guys are in austin you know where that is and you know what it is and it's beautiful so i really wanted that lens so i'm gonna go pick it up today i'm really excited and i'm just ready to have my baby back and 
I'll take really good care of it, even though I didn't drop it in the first place. But anyways, I'm just going on a ramble now, so sorry. Sometimes I get so fed up with my hair that I literally just clip it back really fast and I never know what it looks like. And that is one of those times. It was just like all up in my face. I'm picking up Nagin right now and we're actually gonna head to Precision Camera to pick up my lens. And I don't know if I said this already, but we're gonna go to In-N-Out and take our pictures. I'm really excited to do this because I've literally been wanting to do this ever since the Tumblr days. Like every time I went to visit my family in California, I would go to In-N-Out and just try to be all Tumblr and shit never worked out but hopefully this time it works out i don't know hopefully <laughs> i brought like a lot of random little props like i brought like a red bandana um i think i'm gonna wear my jean jacket with this outfit too she sent me this really cute photo that we are gonna try to recreate hello <laughs> happy galentine's happy Valentine's day <laughs> all right guys we're in in and out we are doing a little photo shoot here my jeans over there posing and honestly, I feel like it's not as embarrassing as we thought it would be because there's like these dividers. So people can't really even see us. We're like in a random corner. So it's going good. And the camera looks really good too. So I'm really excited about these. But we're waiting for our food. Wait, did they call our number? I don't know. Out here being extra at in and out camera. <laughs> I know. It's like on my backpack. We needed a higher angle, so, you know. This girl. <laughs> so the last time I tried in and out I think it was like the first time Ryan tried in and out and I was really sad because I feel like it was really underwhelming, mm -hmm. but I feel like that's how people feel about Whataburger when they try it. My boyfriend's mom is obsessed with Whataburger, so when she comes here, she's like, I'm gonna have to get it. We're like sitting so close to me. Wait, but I think you're not in. Oh, you're right. <laughs> it's like, girl, I'm sorry. <laughs> I love you. I totally forgot. <laughs> wow. Uh, not a vlogger. I didn't vlog it, but we went to Precision Camera before this and picked up my lens. That oh. was repaired. <laughs> when she saw the price, she was like, of the oh repair. Gosh. Because, I mean, especially Sony equipment, very expensive. Camera equipment in general is very expensive, and this lens is like, it's like a wedding photography lens. It's like real good. It's a good lens, so I was just like, I really don't have any, like, I can't not fix it because I need it. It's already, <laughs> already justified. Yeah, it's already justified, so like, whatever. It's for but my business. Guys. But, yeah. We're not going to talk about how much it was, Yeah, if we were to. Yeah, we're not going to talk about it ever again, because it didn't happen. I, I what was, purchase? What? <laughs> what yeah. repair? What, what purchase? <laughs> I told the guy like at the counter, I was like, yeah, I was really trying to manifest it being under 200 bucks. Like, he was like, um, well, it didn't work. I was like, you're telling me. Like, I tried, but manifestation works most of the time. That one Not a was repair. a big ask. It was a big ask. So, yeah. so we did this shoot for like a Galentine's Day oh, yeah. kind of thing. Just like that kind of a theme. I was like raising my hand. <laughs> Ma'am? <laughs> What are you doing for Valentine's Day, if you know? No. But I got Ryan presents. And I'm really excited because he has presents. And um, I'm really excited because I was like kind of broke during Christmas time, so I didn't get him anything, but he got me stuff. Aww. And I felt bad and I really felt really guilty. Yeah. So like, you know, this Valentine's Day, hopefully I don't make it up, make up for it. I bought it like a couple of days ago. And usually I'm like, I have a surprise for you. Or like, I have a present for you, you know, but like, First of all, I don't really want him to like feel like he has to get me anything because he got me yeah. a Christmas present and like I don't want him to feel like he has to. So, but then also like, I'm like really bad at keeping secrets. Like I just get so excited about it, you know? And I'm just like, I can't wait, you know? Like I have to tell you like, those but, are the best. yeah, so I'm excited. But I'm also nervous because I'm going out of town next week. So I don't know if it's going to show up at the door or like Ooh. in the mailbox that you check. By the mail. Oh, just because, tell like not to check. Yeah, no, because I get the text and oh. he doesn't get the text from our apartment. Valentine's Day, full yeah. force, you guys. Actually, okay. Aww. I made like a roast chicken with my cousin, Aww. who's a girl. Mm -hmm. um, and then, or I may have like go to um, like a dancing place in our town. Where? Hotel Vegas, maybe? And like dance with girls. I like my never girlfriend. heard of that. Yeah, same. It's a hotel? No, no, no. It's like a, it's called a yeah, dance bar. This is a really fun photo shoot. Like, I'm really glad we did it. So much fun. Yeah. Got me out of my house. And it's a beautiful day. Yesterday so was freezing. Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> snowing. It was snowing. Day. Oh, I don't know if I told you, but yeah, it snowed in Austin. The weirdest thing. Does that happen often? 
Like once a year. Oh. Mm -hmm. okay. well, it's very weird. So it is a little bit later. I actually just finished filming a video. Once I got home, I was so sleepy. I really wanted to take a nap, but I was just like, you know what, push through. It's gonna be okay. Film this video. So I just got done with that and Ryan's home early. And literally, <laughs> tell him what you sent me. <laughs> I got an email. My presence got here today. She said she got me something for Valentine's Day. I'm like, completely joking. Not knowing that they're there. And she was like, how'd you know? I was like, I think I get emails. I know that I'm the only one that gets the emails yeah. from the apartment. <laughs> that like, I get the codes for the <clears throat> mailbox center. So I was like, what the heck? You get emails now? What the frick? Like, I thought I was pulling a she fast one on him. <laughs> and, then he, and then he was like, no, you like got him today or whatever. I was like, oh, <laughs> like, do you want him now? I told her no. And she's like, here, fine, take him. Yeah, I know. Because now I'm just like, well, shit. Like, I can't keep hiding this. So do you want to share what you got with the class? Yeah, I got this shoes I've been wanting for like, ever. Coupon. Wedding shoes. Cloud Swift or something. I think I'm going to do 12 and a half. Yeah. Um, we can go to REI tonight. I don't know if they have like half sizes in stock, but I mean, you can return them okay. online anyways, but. And then if you know me, I'm a Houdinki fanboy. <laughs> she kind of got me this magazine I've been wanting. I asked for it for, well. You didn't ask. I've never heard you ask for this, really? but you probably asked her mom. Uh, they have a few. This is volume three. But they have a few of them for for Christmas every single year and never got one. <laughs> I'm like, I know when you I'm told me that <laughs> when you told me that I was like, Your that's kinda sad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm ask for it. <laughs> so what's so great about this like like I don't get it, like it's not like a subscription, so it's just like a magazine. Like, like how did you know what volume to get and like why did you choose that one? You know? You chose this one. No, babe, you literally said, like, I swear to God, I wrote it down right when you said it. You were like, you know what I never got? Like, volume series three. And I was like, okay, great. No, I said great. I asked for all three of them. I'm sorry. No, what? it's fine. This is like a $30 magazine. They basically take a compilation of a bunch of, like, different pictures of stuff that they write about. It was like a publication. They put it online. Maybe like a hard copy one. Oh, damn. I hope there's some good pictures in there. I mean, like. I swear I heard three. <laughs> Well, they have three volumes. Many have four volumes. No, they have like way more than that, I think. I don't know. What's in shoes there? Oh, yeah, Kith. They did a Kith uh, drop today. Pretty Kith. Uh, <laughs> uh, G Shop. Ryan knows all the brands. He's so like more. He's, he's streetwear. He's way more trendy than me. Can you take these pictures? I wish I could. The next lens I'm going to buy is a macro. Like, you think you could take that? Of me? Duh. In New York City? Duh. So I can have my own magazine. Done. <laughs> this is the CEO of Big Hunter. Yay. Thank you. Of course. Ryan was just like, um, you always go all out for Valentine's Day. Because yeah, one year. <laughs> well, what? Yeah, she, I really only get much for each other for Christmas. Yeah. And then she always randomly just gets me something huge for like, <laughs> Valentine's Day. I got him a Yeti in high school. Yeah, it's so random. <laughs>